What's good mga peeps? We are group 2 and this is our performance task 2 for pre-calculus. Oops! Don't you worry! Because we have word problems revolving around circle, parabola, ellipse, and hyperbola. Or should I say, the conic sections. So, bago tayo magsimula, tanong lang, circle ka ba? Because you're smoking hot at 360 degrees. Charot! Speaking of circle, let us now start the first conic section problem, which is the circle. So, let us now begin. The given problem for this conic section is that a radio tower is located at 2015 and has a range of 15 kilometers. The lettered points on the coordinates plane represent the cities around it. Find the equation of the circle that represents the coverage of the radio tower and sketch the circle. Which among the cities are out of the coverage of the radio tower? So there are three questions regarding the problem. First is the equation of the circle. Second is the graph of the circle. And lastly, the cities that are out of coverage of the tower. So here is the answer. First, the equation of the circle that represents the coverage of the radio tower based on problem is x minus 20 squared plus y minus 15 squared equals 15 squared. Whereas, the center is 2015 and the radius is 15. So here it is. The coordinates of the four points is 5, 15, 35, 15, 20, 0, and 20, 30. So with this coordinate, we can now graph the circle with 15 as its radius. To find the cities that are out of the coverage, this is the given points of our cities that we will be using. So for this to happen, we will use the distance formula of a circle, which is equal to the square root of the x sub 2 minus x sub 1 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 quantity squared. Let us now substitute the coordinates of our city A or city point A. Substituting it to the distance formula, we're gonna have square root of 20 minus 15 quantity squared plus 15 minus 10 quantity squared, which will give us the answer square root of 50, which is also equivalent to 7.07 .07 units. This means that city A is 7.07 .07 units far from our radio tower, and since its distance is less than our radius, which is 15, we can say that a city, that city A is within the coverage. Same process for city B, which is the coordinates are 10, 20. Distance is equal to square root 20 minus 10 quantity squared plus 15 minus 20 quantity squared. We're gonna have square root of 125, which is equal to 11.18 units. The distance is less than the radius, so city B is within the coverage or CTC that can be found at 55 5. distance is equal to 20 minus 5 quantity squared plus 15 minus 5 quantity squared the answer is square root of 325 which is equal to 18.03 units since the distance of the city is higher than our radius we can say that CTC is out of coverage of the radio tower. Same process for CTD, which is at 30-30. We will have 18.03, so this is also out of coverage. CTE, ID at 25.5, and using the distance formula, we got 11.18. Since it is less than the radius, CTE is within the coverage. Same goes with CTF, which is at 25.25, using the distance formula, we will get 11.18 as the distance, so this is also within the coverage. For CTG, which is at 5.25, same process for that, and we will have distance is equal to 18.03 units, which is definitely 
hour of the coverage of the radio tower. Therefore, city C, G, and D are out of the coverage of the radio tower, while city A, city B, and city E and F are within the coverage of the tower. Let's now proceed on the second conic section, which is the parabola. So for our problem, it says here that an object is thrown upward from the ground, its trajectory is parabolic. Its maximum height is 6 meters and the horizontal distance it traveled 12 meters before it reached the ground. Write a function that gives the height y of the object given its horizontal distance x from the starting point assuming that the starting point is at the origin. Since we are asked to write a function that gives the height y of the object given its horizontal distance, we will use the parabola vertex form equation which is the formula is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. After that, let's identify the vertex. Since it was stated that the drawing an object is starting at the origin or which means 0, 0, our x value here is 6 and the height maximum height of object is 6 meters. So it will gonna be 6, 6. Lastly, the horizontal distance of point is 12 meters which is 12, 0. Now let's proceed into the solution. Again, our formula is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And then substitute the vertex point 6, 6 and the horizontal distance point 12, 0 into the vertex equation. So our x is 12 and the y is 0 and then 6 is both our h and k. So the equation is 0 equals a 12 minus 6 squared plus 6. So it will gonna be a 0 equals a6 squared plus 6. And simplify it, then it's gonna have 0 equals 36a plus 6. Transpose 6 to the left, it will become negative 6 equals 36a. And then we will divide both sides by 36 to find the value of our a. So we're gonna have negative 6 over 36 equals 36a over 36 is equal to negative 1, 6. Since we need to copy again the vertex form of our equation and substitute the value of our a, it will become y equals negative 1, 6 times 6 minus 6 squared plus 6. Transpose 6 to y, it will lead us to y minus 6 equals negative 1, 6 times x minus 6 squared, but we need to divide again. To get the final answer, we will use negative 6 to divide both sides and so we will have the simplest form y minus 6 equals negative x minus 6 squared. Thus, the final function that gives the height y of the object given form its horizontal distance x from the origin is y minus 6 equals negative x minus 6 squared. So next conic section that we're going to analyze and solve is the ellipse. The problem is that in an elliptical oval that is 50 meters long and 40 meters wide, two poles are located at its foci. How far are the poles? Based on the given in our problem, our principal axis is vertical and dahil wala ang binigay na center, automatic na ang center ay located at the origin which is 0, 0. The given is 50 meters long and 40 meters wide so ang ating 50 meters ay ang ating major axis and ang 40 meters ay minor axis. The value of our major axis is 2a which is equal to 50. So the value of our a is 25 and our a squared is 625. We'll plot our vertex based on the value of our a. So we will have 0 positive 25 and 0 negative 25 as our vertices. The value of our minor axis is 2b which is equals to 40. And so, to find the value of our b, we will divide 40 by 2 and now we'll have 20 as our b and 400 as our b squared. We will plot our co-vertices and now we're gonna have 
positive 20, 0, and negative 20, 0 as our co-vertices using the acquired values of our A and B. The equation of our ellipse now will be x squared over 400 plus y squared over 625 equals 1. Since we are asked to find the distance of the poles, which is located at the foci, we need to find the foci of our ellipse. Our formula for this is z is equal to square root of a squared minus b squared. Let's substitute the value of our a squared and b squared. We're gonna have c is equals to square root of 625 minus 400 which is equals to 225 and square root of 225 is 15. So the value of our c now is 15. Let's plot our foci from the origin. We're gonna have 15 steps up and down just like that and now we see our poles that are located at the foci of our ellipse dahil nakuha na natin ng pinakakailangan points pwede na natin graph ang ating problem so this is the graph for this problem after graphing the ellipse we can now answer the question in our problem to get the distance of the poles we can simply use the equation 2c substitute the value of c we're gonna have 2 times 15 which is equals to 30 hence the poles are 30 meters far and now finally let's ask focus on the last conic section which is hyperbola our problem for this is that point p is on a hyperbola with a vertical principal axis and whose center is at the origin the distance at p from the first focus f1 is 10 units more than its distance from the second focus f2 the distance between two foci is 26 units what is the equation of the hyperbola the principal axis for this problem is vertical and the center is at the origin as it was stated from the given it also says here that the distance of two foci is 26 meters so we can conclude that 2c is equals to 26 and rc is equals to 13. Using the acquired value, we can now graph the hyperbola. We will move 13 steps up and down to locate our foci. After plotting, let us now find the location of point P. So for that to happen, we will use the set distance of point P from the first focus which is x plus 10. We will equate this to 13 since our focus is 13. So we will now have x plus 10 equals 13. Transpose 10, we're gonna have x equals 13 minus 10 which is equals to 3. We can now plot the point P. To find the equation of our hyperbola, we need to find the value of our a and b. To find it, let us use the absolute value of the difference between the distance p to the first focus and second focus which is somehow said to be equal to value of 2a which is 10. Since our 2a is equals to 10, our a value is equals to 5, we can now plot our vertex in the Cartesian plane. Since RC is equals to 13, the only thing we need to find is the value of RB. And to answer that, we will use the equation B squared equals C squared minus A squared. Substituting the values of RC and A to the equation, it will now become B squared equals 13 squared or 169 minus 5 squared or 25. It will give us the answer that b squared is equals to 144 and rb is 11 as we get the square root of 144. We can now plot our co-vertices and draw a rectangle connecting our vertices and co-vertices and draw our asymptotes as well. Using the value we acquired, the equation of our hyperbola now is y squared over 25 minus x squared over 144 equals 1 which is lead us to this graph.